Hi and welcome to my channel. Um, in this video I'll show you how to replace your uh, W210 uh, Mercedes E320 uh, brake light switch or stop light switch. It's a $25 part. Uh, make sure you get the genuine uh, uh, Benz uh, part. The symptoms are you'll get the ESP, ABS and in the bottom corner there the BAS light, BS, ESP. All of them uh, start flushing and and um, and um, you know the visit workshop uh, warning. Uh, so um, uh, there there are just a few Phillips uh, screws and uh, and a bolt to the uh, far left uh, corner and. Um, Uh, a total of maybe five that you'll have to undo. You'll have to, uh, uh, unfortunately, the black plastic part uh, cover uh, that is attached to the carpeting under the dash, so you'll have to remove the entire unit. And um, in order to get to uh, the switch, which is right above the um, brake pedal, uh, this is a T20 socket uh, that you also need, and um, I believe this is a uh, 5 16th, but you need a socket set in order to remove this, this one bolt here on the far left. And then uh, with some trim remover tool, you pull that out, and, and, and um, you can start in this bottom corner on the right and pull it out, but probably it's best to um, push it down first, pull, pull down the top part, and then, um, yeah, just, just pulling it down will do uh, from the top to the bottom. And then this, this screw just um, uh, turns uh, about 45 degrees, and... Uh, and then uh, you can remove the entire uh, cover. Uh, there is there is a little lever that you press and then turn this to the right. Uh, so this is how it is uh, installed. You press it, turn it to the right, and pull it. Uh, this is the new part that I'm showing that with. But in a second, you'll see how I do it. Uh, with the part that's bad that's already in there. Uh, so again, you press uh, the little tab, turn it to the right, and then pull it out. Uh, take a photo or just rem remember the configuration of the the two plugs, electric plugs. The one that's got the the red wire and the yellow wire goes on top. Uh, just make sure that uh, that you don't switch those. Uh, the one that's got the black wire and the yellow wire that's, that goes in the bottom uh, when it is installed. And so you press the two taps on the two sides of the plug and pull it at the same time. Here is the new to the right, I mean to the left, and the old one to the right. I did notice uh, in this case uh, uh, that the old one is a little shorter. Uh, so that's that's if you uh, when when it is installed and the brake pal is not um, operated, it will be in the depressed position. Uh, you notice that the old one is a little shorter, so the spring mechanism inside is uh, no longer as good. But um, So uh, plug in the, the wires to the new unit and again it's, it's, uh, it's not easy to get there, uh, it requires some maneuvering, uh, very tight space, uh, so if you have someone smaller that can do this would be great, but uh, it can only go one way. Um,
it fits into those two grooves on the two sides so and, and once you press it in you have to press it in and then turn it to the left uh, that's pretty much it um, and to put the cover back on you you start on the right with the two tabs uh, press those in and then move the entire unit up I hope you find this uh, short video useful and um, I'll talk to you soon thank you